Davius, welcome to another quick blog. Uh, I've got my copy of Dirt 3 playing a PC version now, so you'll be seeing a bit of this on my screen here. Uh, this is the Monaco uh, Jim Carner track that we're going to be having a first look at. Uh, apologies for a little bit of screen flicking you might see occasionally. I'm uh, testing the PC version, but I was running it at the wrong resolution for the camera, so there might be a bit of flicker now and again. I have improved a lot since uh, the video the other day, actually. Uh, the Jim Carner thing something which needs to kind of click with you, get a feel for it. I have a much better feel now, so I'm back to driving in car uh, in the Jim Carner mode. You see his side under the truck, second truck there. And. Uh, you know, much better control. I'm getting a much better feel for it. You know, I'm finding it's just down to throttle control, really. I think before I was burying the throttle a little bit too much uh, and rinsing out the slide, uh, whereas this time I've got a little bit more control. I say that as I'm making a mistake. Uh, getting the car into a little slide here, just look for this pole, second gear in there. The gear controls very much how wide the circumference of the slide is. So if you want to do a spin gyre, it's first gear. If you want to do a pole like this, it's second. And a wider angle would be third gear. So much better control. I'm not needing to work quite so hard on the wheel this time. I've been uh, looking at different techniques of how to slide the car. And instead of using the wheel, I'm using much more throttle control now to uh, get the car in there. I'm trying to keep a slightly tidier style. See here hitting these blocks. I had a higher multiplier. So I just took the opportunity to... Uh, uh, you know, maximise the points if you like. Again, it's a nice little playground area. Of course, the F1's going to be here next week as well. Oh, and a final mistake to finish it off. But a quick look at the new Jim Carner. Okay, so next up is the new Rallycross circuit at Monaco. And I'll be unlocking more of this as I go. Uh, I've chosen the car that gives me most respect. Uh, let's see how we get on again with this one. This is my first go actually on the course, and it goes pretty well. Good getaway here, kind of white car. Around the outside and the inside, I'm trying to go around the outside. This car got good traction actually, so I got away well here. Looking for a way past and then thought better of it. Obviously, when you don't know the corners, you want to keep a line there. Good, uh, a bit of overtaking, a little touch of handbrake, kept it in second gear. The difference with this tra track is it's very different to a lot of those I've been doing. There's no gravel on it at all. Uh, and the strange thing is about rally cars is that. Oops, as, I'm, as I'm nudging the back of the car there, I thought, do you know what, what the hell, I might as well. You do have to be quite aggressive in the rallycross mode, I find. You know, you are, uh, there is limited time to catch up. Actually, I had more laps here than I realised. I went in there deep, got a handbrake and uh, kept track position. And from then on, for the rest of the race, all I'm doing is uh, looking at different gears into corners and how the car handles, when, when you should brake. That's actually one continuous corner. I went well offline there. Uh, trying to test different things, you know, if you can keep a lot of speed through the apex, you can keep a higher gear and then get good sort of momentum on your traction and the exit, and it's the same with hairpin, do I brake earlier for the hairpin or brake later and I try to range of techniques, but actually you do want to brake quite early for it, I was probably braking too late a lot of the time here, uh, but it is, it is interesting to see difficult racing style, I've got Inevit tighter than I wanted to, but uh, not too bad on the exit. Again, I didn't quite carry the momentum. Whenever you're seeing opposite lock there, it means I've probably not, you know, the, the back end is stepping out more than I would like. Not too bad that time on the hairpin. That's pretty much how you'd like to do it. Good speed, second gear. Move to the next lap. The race goes pretty quick. These are short laps. And downhill as well, you know, slightly off camber but comfortable in the mood so I'm not under any pressure so it just gives me a chance to so you learn the handling aspects. I went too deep that time but you've got to do this whenever you get a new racing game the best way to improve at it is to practice on it and to do lots and lots of laps and find out what works for you and if there's one thing about Dirt 3 with the different driving disciplines that we've had in it is there is lots and lots to learn uh, you know, and so it's been uh, it's been a good fun experience so far and you can see graphically here as well the PC version is nice and clear, runs really smoothly. It does need quite a powerful PC though I have to admit. I would love to see it all singing or dancing on a Superpower Ninja PC. Uh, if you do have a Superpower Ninja PC do record a video. I am still trying to arrange a direct feed for you guys. Uh, I tried to run the FAP system but it keeps on crashing the game at the moment. Uh, the game isn't actually the most stable 
uh, thing in the world anyway on my PC for some reason. It does uh, it does muck about a bit, and I think that's because I'm running it on on the large TV here. It doesn't really like the resolution of the TV. Well, obviously, that's a 1080p, which is a lot of resolution for it to cope with. But that's a quick run there. More to follow. Okay, so a couple of glimpses of Monaco there. I'll be doing loads and loads of dirt videos in the next few days. Do let me know what you'd like to see. I mean, obviously, we've had requests for a crash compilation. I'll be doing some of that. And, uh, yeah, what else? What other modes and stuff like that, you know? So I'll be giving you some of my uh, views. I won't necessarily be reviewing the game, but uh, I will be giving you some of my sort of opinions of it so far and more of that to come. But that's it for now, viewers. See you soon.